Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits again. Uh, so I got a comment in a video about that they didn't understand comparators at all in uh, that comparative video that we did. Uh, so I'm going to try to explain them the best I can. So a comparator has two modes. It has the subtraction mode and the comparing mode. Uh, what We'll start out with the subtraction because that's uh, the easiest to really uh, understand. So uh, we have a signal going in. Okay, so that's a signal strength of 14 going in. And if we put in another signal strength that is slightly less, it will subtract that signal and give us a signal strength of um, whatever the difference is. Um, I hope that makes sense. Basically, if we turn this off, um, it won't let anything th through because this isn't a main input. Um, you can put it in on both sides. They both uh, operate the same. So that was the easy bit. So we're going to turn those off. Now with this one, we have a, sig a main signal going through. And this is in um, comparator mode or comparing mode, and if the signal is greater, then it will put out a zero. If the signal is less, such as a zero, then it will um, run the input through. So this is similar to the subtractor, but the main difference is, is it doesn't give you an output. Um, it'll just give you a one or a zero this one will actually give you the difference. Um, now we're going to try to make a hex comparator. So if you don't know what hexadecimal is, it's a, um, a number system that goes 0 to F. Uh, there's 16 characters in it. Uh, so we're going to try to do this. So um, the idea here is to get the comparators going like this. So we're going to have a comparer going this way. And this is going to be our second input, um, the one that we're comparing. So we're going to we're going to only do 4 bit hex. Okay. So, or this wouldn't be um, technically hex, it would be uh, four inputs. I don't know what you'd call that. So we're going to have four inputs. This is just going to be for an example, of course. So uh, we have our main input. And that's going to go through just fine. But whenever we turn on a input that is greater... Uh, wait, let me turn... Yeah. Such as this it will give us out a zero. And that's what it should be doing. So right here we have a 15, a signal strength of 15. So I'm going to label that 15, 14, 13, and 12. So we have those four uh, signal strengths. We're going to label these two. Oh, and 12. So um, we can also set this to subtraction. And say we want to do 14 minus 14. That obviously equals 0. But 14 minus 15. Um, well, it's not going to show it. Uh, let's do a little smaller number. So 12. Did I set that? Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to do 12, or no. We're going to do 15 minus 12. And that should give us 3. So the subtraction mode, you could do um, quite a bit with it. You could make a full subtractor, um, as long as you understand the logic. So. These subtractors also will carry on the signal strength, so let's have an input 
like so. And so that carries on the, the same signal strength all the way through. Uh, so we can put a comparator here. There's a more efficient way to do this, but I, I can't remember how that goes exactly. So you see there's another 15. We can carry it. We can keep on doing this infinitely. So the only downside with this, and that's why I suggested the the other way of doing this, is um, it's a little bit slow. So if I place lamps on top of these, uh, you'll see the speed. So yeah, there's there's a bit of delay in these. So yeah, th there's a lot more efficient ways of doing this because imagine if you had it going, I don't know, way off in the distance over there. It probably wouldn't be the most efficient. But if, if you like this video or you have any suggestions for other tutorials, then please drop those in the comments. And if you like it, then hit the like button. If you want to see more, then um, subscribe to my channel and I produce videos uh, at least every day, or I try to. So that will be the end of this video. Uh, I will see you in the next video.